All right, so we have our uh, first winner semi set. It's gonna be best of five beast versus of Hokey Lamb. And you'll be also, thank you for the sub. Three, Just caught that one in the chat. One, but uh, yeah, Beast has been on record saying that he hates this matchup. Uh, Hokey Lamb, honestly, one of the more aggressive villagers that you could really find out there. Beast is one of the most aggressive players you can find out there, period. So I'm not surprised that um, that Beast might not enjoy this matchup as much as uh, Well, I'm sure most people don't enjoy villager matchup. But that's neither here nor there. Alright, good nares to, uh, to kind of open up the space for Poké Lamb. Starting to get a little bit of damage. But he's being pushed off the stage. Very nice and barely missing the actual villager that down here is super strong. And especially on this stage, it would have definitely killed 100%. Even at a percent as low as 20. Alright, good shield pressure from Poké Lamb. And yeah, no, he's trying to go for the, uh, the back air. And getting killed because he didn't go for the ledge. How unfortunate it is. And now Poké Lamb kind of uh, putting the shoe on the other foot here. Very nice. Alright, good use of the uh, good use of the of the tree to kind of force his force piece position. You see Poké Lamb just getting a lot of stray hits, man. This was so strongly in his favor in the early parts. Oh, and a great F smash to finish to take Poké Lamb's first stock. The piece has to kind of figure out how to do safe damage here. And no, he messed up with the spot dodge after the roll in. Alright, good swap. Let's go. Alright, yeah. He's rolling in, but not managing. Poke Lamb punishing the spot dodge with the axe. Very nice. And unfortunately, uh, this is missing some uh, some really key punishment that he needs here to get some damage on uh, on Poké Land. All right, good push off stage. Not quite getting the vine whip that I'm sure he really wanted. Poké Lamb DIing out intentionally. It is a 50 50 technically, so it would be very hard to place that hit if uh, your opponent knows to not DI in on the uh, the nair. Alright, nice punish there. He's in not a great position. He's being pushed off the stage and at a high percent. And is that going to be the. Oh, and the. Not that was terrible DI, unfortunately. And I put him in a really precarious position. Very good up tilts. He's getting pulled in from that far away. Jeez, man. And Poké Lamb two stocking Beast for the first match. Very aggro play from uh, from Poké Lamb, but he was able to uh, to push his advantage really well when he had it. Uh, Beast, unfortunately, losing some really critical stocks at very important moments. You can see uh, in the last stock, Beast was trying to jump in uh, to get set up, but that just ended up playing into exactly what Poké Lamb wanted. Yeah, Poké Lamb was just controlling the space so well this whole like, this whole match so far. And Beast is honestly going to have to try to figure out exactly what he can do. About the level control that uh, that beast that uh, Poké Land's been exerting, if he wants to win this set. All right, guys, and I'll be right back. Sorry.
All right, guys, I'm back, and yay, Wookie Lamb, again, holding a pretty good lead um, against Beast and a nice Flare Blitz. Beast almost losing his second stock, though. I really like that uh, the placement of the tree and the way that uh, that Poké Lamb tried to use the watering can that situation and try to force Beast into the tree. Unfortunately, uh, Beast is on his last stock. He's got to play very carefully here. If he wants to try to take it. Uh, one of the few not PS2 counter picks from Beast, too, which is very surprising. Uh, but I guess he feels like the tri plat layout is a lot better in this matchup, which, you know, respect. Totally understandable. Especially when you're playing Trainer. Pokeland taking game two pretty soundly overall. Uh, very early uh, last stock kill. Damn, man, dropped a bowling ball on that dog. Poor baby. <sighs> That's animal abuse, guys. Don't do that, please. Don't abuse your poor little weird vegetable cabbage dog. Your vegetable cabbage dog that has turned into a flower dog. Not cool, guys. Oh my goodness, and that tree barely scraping uh, Beast on the landing. Interesting use of the uh, the pocket, though. I'm not really sure if uh, Pokéland was using it to try to get invincibility or for what, uh, what purpose. Alright, and Beast uh, got to make a hard decision. What is he going to do to try to turn the set around? Because he is on his last match of the set. If he loses this one, he's going straight to losers. Who's just top eight, granted, or top six, but uh, it's not a place you want to be. Especially with like that many people that got knocked into losers super early. And again, we see like villagers just punching people in the gut. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it feels like it takes eternity. In terms of like what jabs, uh, how much damage jabs do, 18% ain't that much, really. But a sick spike. 
He's taking advantage of the super uh, the super high blast zone on PS2, making spikes even stronger than they usually are. Very good. And the uh, the Lloyd Rocket actually messing up the up smash game there, huh? But an axe almost doing it, not quite able to get to secure the kill against Beast as of yet. And Beast got Pokelam off the stage, but wasn't able to actually do anything with it. He actually rolled into the grab, causing forcing him to lose his stock. Very unfortunate for, uh, for Beast. 